Everything that I had planned for, I basically thought that I was going to be in China for five plus years, but the AP ended completely. And the AP sent me to, to Hong Kong, where I was the news editor. And from that moment on, pretty much from 1989 until 1997, I did nothing but war situations. So from 89 to, to 92, I was with the AP doing the first Gulf War, Vietnam's withdrawal from Cambodia, a lot of Afghan duty, the Sri Lanka problems. Uh, basically doing uh, what we call in the AP shithole duty, uh, mm. bad places for long periods of time. And in 92, the Post decided, well, might as well hire me. And they hired me and they took me back. I was in D.C. for several months and then they sent me to Bosnia. So from 92, basically, to 96, I was in Bosnia sort of chronicling the collapse of Yugoslavia. Um, then after that, in 97, uh, I was in Zaire, uh, Congo, to chronicle the collapse of the Mobutu regime. So I basically was writing about horrible things happening to innocent people for about eight years. Uh, it does uh, sort of inure you to the sufferings of some Americans now when you think to yourself, my god, you know, your life isn't that bad. I've seen people 50 times worse. But um, it was a fascinating ride. In 97, a uh, opening occurred at the Beijing Bureau, and the Post put my name in. Obviously, the Chinese, like any elephant, any good elephant, have a long memory. They said, we don't want this guy. But the Post has a lot of political heft. So Mrs. Graham uh, put her backing, uh, backed me to the hilt, and the Chinese relented. And so I was allowed to return to China from 1998 to 2004. Um, took a time.